Well, I'm reading Life Too Short to Pretend You're Not Religious by David Dark. Um, I've only read, it's, I've had it for several days, I've read the introduction and even just the introduction gave me a lot to think about. Um, I came upon this book, uh, I, I'm, I'm not exactly sure how I encountered David Dark uh, first, I believe I've, I've followed a musician, his name is uh, David Bazan, he was in a band called Pedro the Lion, I guess he's still in a band called Pedro the Lion, um, and uh, I'd followed him for years, um, and then he uh, it was a, kind of a, on an indie Christian rock label in the, in the 90s, 2000s, um, so I followed him on Twitter, been kind of just following his uh, artistic life and at some one point he left the Christian faith um, and I was kind of I was kind of bummed <laughs> I was like what's going on and I noticed this happening with uh, several different musicians anyway I still was really interested in his life and and um, I really appreciated him as an artist as a musician uh, and I sincerely wanted to know why he had, you know, why did you do that? <laughs> um, and I get it. I get it a lot more now. Um, I started going through my own, uh, I'd call it an existential crisis uh, in, I want to say, 2014, 2015. Somewhere around there I started going through my own uh, real hard struggles with my own faith, um, which I would say continues to this day. Um, and something that like, I think a lot of people go through in college and then they, you know, I don't know, they wrestle with a lot of that maybe in a, in a, um, religions class or something. Um, and I don't know. And I went through, through a Christian university and, and I definitely had, had things, but I don't think I was challenged in the way that this, uh, this process, I don't know what to call it, it's challenged me. Anyway, so David Bazan had retweeted, I think, uh, David Dark multiple times, uh, just something he said or had posted, and I started following, following him and uh, realizing that a lot of what he said um, resonated with me, made sense to me, um, felt, uh, it uh, felt honest and, um, uh, there was a, a seeking quality to it, um, and yet still acknowledging, uh, to me, at least the way I understood it, acknowledging God in some way, um, but also actively participating in his faith in ways that felt to me like, uh, how, Christians should be in a complicated world. Um, so I finally bought this book, and I will uh, do a little book talk, I guess, as I read through it. Um, and today I'm reading chapter one. That's my introduction to how I found this book, and David Dark, through D the Davids. Um, and I guess my, my desire to understand what I believe, and uh, why I believe and uh, what is the point of any of that? What's the point? Um, and it's I think it's important for me to understand that. I think it's important for me to understand it um, because, it, I, you know, I grew up and was raised in the church, and so I definitely have grown up in that. You know, that's a part of who I am. You know, I can't, I can't change that, and I don't necessarily want to change that. Um, but there were things in my head and in my mind and in my heart uh, in that, that time period that I'm talking about in the 2014, 15, 16, where I really started um, questioning a lot of it. Uh, and um, I think I'm coming out on the other side. I've had a lot of great people, my, some of my pastors and, and, and friends, um, talking about the struggle with people. Um, has been extremely freeing, the struggle with doubt uh, in faith. 
um, it's been a, um, uh, I don't know, it's lifted a weight because uh, when you struggle with something and you can't tell anybody, um, there's, a, there's just a dread attached to that, I think. And I think by saying it, like I think David Bazan, I think just by announcing that he was cutting ties <laughs> with a lot of his earlier beliefs, um, I think I'm imagining that was very freeing for him. Um, and I've seen that in things he said, and, uh, and I'm not, my desire is not to cut ties with my beliefs or, or my, my Christian faith. It's more to uh, get to the core of, of what it is um, and to understand it. Um, uh, yeah, it's, it's tricky. So I appreciate I appreciate what I've just even read in the introduction of this book, um, and uh, but I think it's I think it's something that I really want to read. The, the first I say the first book that I reread when I was going through this process was a book called uh, *Mere Christianity* by C.S. Lewis, and I've read through it a couple times since then, um, and that's been very helpful in in some of the things uh some of the issues but it hasn't stopped the the questions that i have and um and so i'm i'm reading other things and and trying more and more to understand what i believe and why i believe it um and uh so i will share some of that with you as i read and um yeah there you go life too short and to my atheist friends <laughs> or my non-believing friends uh, I, I hope that title doesn't feel invalidating um, it's, I'm not trying to like shove anything on anybody or say that you know you really are religious but I, I, I think it's interesting how he uh, David Dark defines that so um, we'll, we'll talk more later <laughs>